call YouTube. You gonna you gonna see me do something you don't see me do a whole lot. That's manual labor. But today we are going to be installing the uh, Easy Troll uh, recessed foot tray for your trailer motor. And we'll try to walk you through all the steps with doing that in a fiberglass boat. There's a lot of there's a lot of videos with aluminum boats and with an aluminum there's not a lot that you're going to get into when you actually cut this hoe out and i'll i'll turn this camera around in just a second but we're going to walk you through this is a ranger boat it's a uh, ranger boat it's a 205 vs 2004 model i believe and there's just not a lot of videos out there telling you specifically how to do it with a fiberglass boat so i'm going to walk you through this we're going to install this foot tray i've got a i've got some other things i'm going to do too but first of all let me turn this on. So first of all, what you have to do before you do anything is to get you some tape, come to your pedestal, and you gotta find the center line of your boat. And I would say even before you do that, I would contact somebody that works for maybe a manufacturer, somebody that knows a little bit more than you do, and let them tell you what may be under here. And I've actually talked to uh, Pittsburgh Marine in London, Kentucky. Uh, talked to a guy named Rick, very knowledgeable, love dealing with Rick. And he has the exact same setup and almost the same boat. And there's absolutely nothing under here that I'm going to cut. So I'm going to get everything line. I've got my center line ran. This is my center line. So this will be flipped over of course but anyway you can kind of get a tail kind of get a little bit of an idea of what size hole that i'm going to be cutting out in the deck of this boat so yeah talk to someone who may know more than you do make sure there's nothing under your boat to cut uh even look for manuals look for you know boat layouts google do whatever you got to do make sure there's nothing going to be here that you've got to cut out and nothing there you're good to go so i'm gonna get everything kind of squared up and then i'm gonna start the cutting process so we are on the next phase of the steps here uh, this is your template and what i like to do is tape it off just loosely this doesn't have to be like really tight onto the carpet and then you remove the template and that square area is what we will be removing with the carpet uh, I, I actually measured it slightly small so uh, just making sure I don't have no screw ups here but I'll be cutting that square out and using a be using a razor knife to get that carpet up and then once I get the carpet up I'll start actually cutting down into the actual uh, deck of the boat so I'm gonna go ahead and start that process right now so we got our carpet cut out looks really good come up come up pretty come up a little bit easier than what I was expecting now a lot of people will say drill holes in the corner then using a uh, jigsaw, connect everything up. But I'm not going that. I'm actually going to use a. Uh, I'm going to use a Dewalt multi tool, and I'm really, really, really going to take my time because I mean, honestly, the carpet can be replaced. Everything else can be replaced, but I'm cutting a hole out. I'm going to do this very, very slow, very, very carefully. So I'm going to use the multi tool and just go straight down making precise cuts and then i know in this ranger once i get the floor cut up i'm i'm not even near done because there is this whole deck is foam filled i'll have to scrape that out but this is the progress so far and i'll keep you updated once we got our carpet and our sub flooring up there's a piece of PVC pipe that runs down through here. It was it was used when they first made these boats. If you wanted to install like uh, lights and things, yet that's where you'd run your wire. And this is just some extra uh, fiberglass board there. It all's got to go though. So at this at this point, 
I'm just chipping away at it. And once I get down to the foam and get the hole about where it needs to be, I'll let you know. So here we are, we have made it. We've got the foam cut out. It sets right underneath the tray. I've got the, uh, got the drain holes there installed and it's run back to this, uh, this dry storage box and it will, it'll just run out. So the next steps that we've got to do and there's our mountain screws and our easy troll tray will be installed and it has took forever and I have got a mess. I've got foam and fiberglass all over the place, but that's all right. All that matters is it looks good, right? I'm gonna go ahead and anchor this down. Nobody wants to see all that junk. Well, I guess everybody likes a grand reveal. And that's it, that's it completed. All I gotta do is run my trolling motor wires back through this little hole. Woo, look at that, boys. I have destroyed this boat though. It is blistering. I got so much cleaning to do, it ain't even funny, but ta-da. That's how hard it is. I mean, easy it is to install that tray. So. We are going to church, yes. I gotta go, it's Wednesday night. We gotta go to church. If anybody has any problems or issues when they mount this, please message me because I can tell you a lot of what to do, but I can also tell you a lot of what not to do. So please message me in the comments. You got any trouble? Installing this one, this is sweet. I'm going to get a few picture shots after this just to see what the boat cleaned up, what it looks like, and uh, we'll go from there. We gone.